I wanted to try something different this year. You know, um, I placed fourth last year, and um, you know, to to better what you've done the previous year, you know, you got to make some changes. So, for the very first time, I hired um, a nutritionist to help me, um, or trainer, whatever you want to call it. Um, um, Joe McNeil, he's very known on the circuit from the past. He came out of retirement just to train for the show, and. Um, you know, we just changed up a few things this year, and um, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm just trying to display um, the physique that I've, you know, worked so hard for, you know, for the show, and um, I'm just trying to display it to everyone and 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 have fun doing it. And if you do that, then you pretty much have the crowd in you know in the palm of your hand. So, but if you're not in shape, then it's a different story. <laughs> so the first thing is you got to come in in great condition. All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, as the title reads, we're going to do a video today on the Blade Dexter Jackson at the 2003 Mr. Olympia. And I got to say, he looked fantastic. He was a little down in size. He wasn't as big as we're used to seeing Dexter Jackson. 2003 and 2004, he was a little down in size, but very, very aesthetic. I mean, he fucking nailed it. Perfect physique. If I were to look like anybody, I would want to look like Dexter Jackson just because he's not that big. Five foot six and a half, 212 to 215 pounds. I think he was like 220 at the biggest, somewhere around there, 220, 225. Like in 2009, I think he was almost 225. So pretty big dude for five foot seven. But here in 2003, not so much. He was only like 214, 215 from what I read on the internet. But anyways, guys, just check out this physique. If this is not a perfectly, I mean, just a perfectly structured physique, then I don't know what is. The upper body matches up with the lower body absolutely perfectly. His back is super sunken. His traps super sunken. His lat insertions are unbelievable. The detail to the lat insertions are unbelievable. He's got a nice big set of quads. And his midsection is super fucking tight. Look at how tight his midsection is. And then he's got a nice big set of arms, nice big set of biceps and triceps. But when he hits a side tricep pose, his tricep doesn't look as big. That's because the outer part of the head is smaller than the inner part of the head. The inner part of the head is bigger than the outer part of the head. So when he throws up a front double bicep, his triceps look huge. But look at him from behind, guys, especially when he hits the rear lat spread. He looks fucking fantastic. I think Dexter Jackson has one of the best backs in bodybuilding. He doesn't get enough credit for how good his back was. Look at the hams and glutes. Diced. Rear lat spread. One of the nicest, prettiest rear lat spreads I've ever seen. He really did nail it though, guys. Let me know what you think about this version of the Blade at the 2003 Mr. Olympia because it was a good one. Now, Dexter placed third. He was up one spot from 2002 where he placed fourth. Now, we had Ronnie King Coleman who placed first. Jay Cutler who placed second. Uh, third was Dexter Jackson, like I said. Fourth was Dennis James. And Dennis James looked really good at the 2003 Mr. Olympia. Gunther Schleerkamp, he looked really good too at the 2003 Mr. Olympia. Sixth was Kevin Lavroni. He slipped in placings. He didn't look that great and um, at the 2003 Mr. Olympia. Eh, he was off in my opinion. Darren Charles placed seventh. Troy Alves placed eighth. Uh, ninth was Melvin Anthony. Tenth was Ernie Taylor. Eleventh was Johnny O. Jackson. Twelfth was Rodney St. Cloud. Thirteenth was Art Atwood. And then fifteenth was Lee Priest. Lee Priest plays fifteenth. You want to know why? Because of politics. That's fucking why. Because he should have been in the top ten. At least in the top ten. He was better than Troy Alves, who placed eighth, in my opinion. Yeah, Lee was a little off in 2003, but he did not deserve a 15th place finish. But I digress. But anyways, guys, look at Dexter, though. Oh, my God. He's got one of the most pleasing physiques I've ever seen. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Mikey from Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.